Herbert Hoover was elected president in 1928 as the candidate of prosperity. His supporters promised that his victory would bring to Americans a chicken in every pot and a car in every garage. Hoover assured the Republican Party in his acceptance speech that America was nearer to the final triumph over poverty than ever before, and given the chance to go forward with the Republican policies of the last eight years, America would soon be inside of the day when poverty would forever be banished. In October 1929, within eight months of his inauguration, the magnificent financial structure of America and the much lauded prosperity of the 20s came tumbling down around him, and like the fall of Humpty Dumpty, no one could put the pieces together again. On October 24, 1929, the stock market plummeted and panic began to spread on the floor, but prices held the following day and it appeared that the worst was over. Never was optimism more ill-advised. Five days later, on October 29th, the crash came, dwarfing the events of the 24th. Huge blocks of stock were thrown on the market, 5,000, 10,000, even 20,000 lots, offered for whatever they could bring. By the end of the day, more than 16 million shares of stock had changed hands at rock-bottom prices and $14 billion had been lost. Within two months, a total of $40 billion disappeared in the transaction, leaving the entire financial community stunned. 